Did you know the famous Nefertiti bust is a fake? Let me quote Gidget Uloa Torres in her 2021 dissertation, The Physical and Digital History of the Ancient Egyptian 18th Dynasty, Queen Nefertiti High Hat Bust. This paper specifically questions the authenticity of the Queen Nefertiti High Hat Bust currently exhibited at the Berlin Neues Island Museum as a modern fraud. Several factors back up this claim, such as the fact that the discoverer, Ludwig Borchardt, created a carving of plaster of Paris that covered the original limestone bust, which was made by the royal sculptor, Thutmose. A major point in this composition is the examination of the 40 depictions of Queen Nefertiti as a black African woman showcasing African facial features. The Queen Nefertiti hi-hat bust at the Neues Berlin Island Museum does not represent the African beauty standard that these other 40 depictions of her showcase and is instead Europeanized. The way the bust was handled in the first 10 years of its discovery is worth analyzing because Ludwig Borchardt and James Simon didn't want the bust to be publicly presented. Furthermore, surrounding ancient Egyptian artworks like the Narmer's Palette and the Princess Nefertibet Staley have been included in this paper to elucidate the real origins of ancient Egypt, which can be said is Black African. In conclusion, the Queen Nefertiti high-hat bust that was created by Ludwig Borchardt is a modern fraud. So, if we are to believe the narrative held till this day by some European archaeologist, Tutmosis, a royal artist of extreme precision and artistic flair would have completely departed from all his previous renderings of Nefertiti to suddenly represent her as a Nordic-Caucasian woman. This logic does not hold ground when you have to consider that the artist has to respond to the queen and Akhenaton himself. Furthermore, Sean Greenhog, a known antique forger, had this to say about the bust. It's supposed to be the work of a master sculptor. But the technique says otherwise. That's the work of, if not an amateur, then a second or third rate sculptor. And none of those would look for the pharaoh. You'd only have the best. That'd be like finding a, a Michelangelo sculpture in marble. And then you'd find out that the ears, the eyes, the, old, the hands, the difficult parts are all made in stucco and added on. It just wouldn't be done. The damage on it is the major point of it being a, a later copy. It's something I've done myself, I've something I've seen on other fakes. It's quite obvious if you look at where it's damaged. The ears are damaged, it's obviously it's been dropped left and right sides. The back of the head has been damaged, and most telling, the cobra on the conical cap is almost obliterated. To remove it, it would have taken off the nose, the brow ridges, and the chin. There's absolutely no damage to the face. The damage is selective, and that's a dead ringer for a fake. This is well known in Egyptologist circles. However, if you do a Google search of Nefertiti, this is what you find. Professional ethics would have required more academics to have spoken publicly about this. Alas, what did Nefertiti look like? If anything, she would have looked like this. Your support on Patreon means the world to us, and it helps us share more of our history so that the next generation doesn't grow up believing that they are without history.